Thank you so much for coming to the graduation ceremony. I hope you have a wonderful time. Please go ahead and take out your tissues. For the majority of us, our whole childhood has been here at CCS. We've made many memories and had many good times. And we hope to keep having even more as we move on to our new schools. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. This verse shows us that even though we are going to leave CCS, He, the Lord, has each of us in His hands, and He is helping us along the way of our lives. Central's mission is to partner with families to prepare children by instilling a passion for God, a love of truth, and a zeal to serve. This mission has taken place throughout the school by the teachers setting good examples of what Central Christian School's mission is. As we began to wrap up the year in literacy, each sixth grader was given the task of identifying one of the following pillars. The first pillar was passion for God. The second pillar was love of truth. And the third pillar was zeal to serve. After careful consideration, each of us would love to share with you how the Lord has helped us grow in these pillars. At Central Christian School, I have grown to feel a closer bond to God and everyone around me. The thing I am most proud of for my time here is the way I've grown in my passion for God. Through hard times, change, and a lot of work, I've been able to realize that there's always someone there for me, whether it's God or some of the people he planted in my life. When I was younger at Central, I didn't really have a strong bond with God, yet I loved to sing at chapel and Sunday school. To be honest, in those younger years, I didn't have something to push me. I didn't have people I wanted to fight for. I'd never lost someone I loved closely, and I'd never really been hurt by a change. As time went on, I felt I had to know who I am and what my purpose is. Sometimes I just spent hours looking in the mirror, being like, who are you? Soon enough, my brother was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My grandfather passed away, and one of my close friends sent me to the side. I honestly felt defeated, and the worries kept gnawing at me. At first, I didn't want to go to God. I didn't want to burden others with my worries either. But finally, I went to God. I cried out to him. I talked to him. Sometimes I just sat down and listened to him. God revealed to me that he is always there for me, no matter what. No matter what change comes in or finds its way out, he'll be there. He also told me that other people will be there for me too. At Central, I gained many friends some close, some a bit farther, but they were always there for me. One day I remember in fourth grade being so nervous because my dad was having surgery that day. It was kind of obvious something was wrong with me and I hadn't been having the best day. I was confused about my feelings too. Miss Mooley came up to me and asked me about it. I burst out crying. Nobody put me down for it. The community gave me a positive attitude to look at and make me feel better and Miss Malloy reassured me he would be okay. Through our times, they were there for me. I gained friends, confidence, more. But most of all, I gained a bigger passion for God. A passion for God is like hope in a room full of fear. One speck of that hope can wash away all your fears. Throughout my time at Central, the pillar of the school mission that has stood out the most to me is a passion for God. Each school year, I have grown deeper in my personal faith and developed a deeper love for God. I believe the Bible is the inspired word of God and that I am to apply it to all areas of my life. I have learned that God is to be glorified in everything that I do. For me, Central has held many moments and lessons about having a passion for God and what honors Him. For example, during a challenging playground encounter when others were being extremely mean, to my friends and me. I chose to honor, 
honor God by doing what was right, even when others were not. Another moment was in JK when Miss Fellows taught a lesson about all the wonderful things God has placed inside us. I was so excited by the lesson that day. As soon as I got in the car, I shouted to my mom, I got special stuff inside of me from God. As I step in the next journey of middle school, I will always remember that God has placed special gifts and talents within me, and I will use them in a way that honors and glorifies Him. In middle school, I will continue to make good choices, even when it may be the unpopular thing to do. Finally, I want to express my gratitude to my classmates, teachers, and the central community who enriched my learning experience. To my super cool and funny classmates, it has been a long journey, but now we're middle schoolers. We have had a blast creating friendships and memories that I hope will last a lifetime. To my supportive and caring teachers, I appreciate every fun lesson, every kind word, and every warm smile that made my day. To the central community, I am thankful to have been a part to, of a community where I could learn, grow, and feel safe. Go out. During my time at Central, I have gained a love of truth and a zeal to serve, but most importantly, a passion for God. My teachers have taught me about virtues like persevering from love, and every time, they point back to God. For example, when Miss Harper taught us about finding out what it meant to be a light, and when Mr. Hall told us about his childhood, a discussion which I will not leave in detail for his sake. Because of things like these, I have gained my passion for God and hope. I am now ready to let everything change because I have God as a constant. I've been going to Central from the beginning, before I even knew the letters in the alphabet. I love this school and it has taught me so much. Throughout my time at Central, the Lord has grown me to show passion for God. This pillar represents me the most because the Lord is my Father in heaven and he loves me. Central has taught me to love God and worship Him before anything else, because He is the Almighty One. As a child of God, Central's teachers have reminded me to glorify Christ in everything that I do. When we sing during chapel, I think about the words, Give Him glory. The Lord has blessed me and given me many talents, and I know all of my talents are from God, but sometimes it is a little hard to not take all the glory. Previously, I participated in a small talent show for my church, and several people said that God has gifted me with the talent of strength. In my heart, this reminded me that all my gifts are from God, not from my own doing. As I move on to a new chapter of my life, I remember these teachings and that all I do is for God's glory. It is definitely not for mine. If anything, God should be the one bragging. The Lord has an amazing plan for my journey with him, and I know that he's holding me in his hands. Jesus Christ humbled himself as a baby in a smelly manger for me. He died for my sins as my loving Savior, and that is why I have passion for him. Thank you to all the teachers, friends, and parents at Central for shaping me into who I am today. Central has grown me into a strong Christian, and I am very thankful. I will truly miss you all. For my first pillar, I chose my passion for God. I chose this pillar because I love God, and I love all that he has done for me and my family. I had a test one time that I didn't study for, and I got very anxious about taking it. So I thought about Philippians 4, 6 through 7, and it said, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. I will now live differently thinking how God has always been there for me when I needed him and to not worry. I am very sad to leave Central because all the great teachers and friends I had and the memories I made with them, but I'm also glad that I made those friends and teachers. Throughout my time at CCS, I have learned a significant amount of valuable skills that I will carry forward throughout life. God has blessed me with an amazing family and a fire-burning passion for Him. God spoke out to me. I know that God is always with me whether I'm sad, happy, joyful, excited, or mad. God has planned out every single step in my life and that amazes me. I am so glad I got to have the opportunity to go to Central 
because that made my connection with God even stronger. I remember when my granddad passed away. I was so devastated and confused by God to this amazing man out of my life. The following week, when I went to chapel and heard the songs, the message from God popped into my head. They taught me that God is always with me and he will always love me forever. I know that God is the reason why he did that. He is the one and only Savior. God led me on this path to Central. The road wasn't easy. It had its ups and downs. And I am so grateful that I went on this road. I got to meet so many amazing friends and people, and I had so many good experiences with everyone. I am really sad that my time at Central has come to an end, but we all knew it was going to happen. CCS will forever be in my heart, and I will. it will always be the reason that I know that God is always with me. CCS has encouraged me to be a better person. It helped me become a, vet, a better version of myself. Thank you to all of my teachers for believing in me and helping me succeed every time. And to my fellow classmates of 2020, Pop-Tart Crust are gross. In my nine years of being at CCS, I have developed a passion for God. Central has helped me to understand that God truly loves us and that he is always in control. I vividly remember Isaiah's shadow day in third grade. I was the person who stayed with him and told him, told him about the school and what the schedule was. Everyone was extremely nice to him, not because Mr. Bartels had told us to, but because we truly wanted to get to know him. Looking back at this, I can see that God used Central to show me the real meaning of caring for someone with your whole heart. Going forward, I will get to know others, even if they don't have the same interests as me. I would like to thank the CCS community for molding and shaping me to be the young man that I am today. I would like to thank my teachers for encouraging and teaching me, Ms. Patton especially, because she taught me self-control and focus, my classmates for making me laugh nonstop, all of my buddies for being joyful all the time and looking up to me. Parker technically isn't my buddy, but he definitely fits into that category. And last but definitely, definitely not least, I would like to thank God for guiding my family to St. Louis and leading my brothers and I to CCS. Don't forget to read your Bibles. Hi, I'm Kaysen, and I chose Pillar 1 because I have learned that God has a plan for everyone. Over the years, my teacher has taught me that God has a plan for everyone, even if they don't want to do it. But overall, God decides for them how to live their lives. Some of our teachers have told us that they weren't expecting me to work at Central Christian, but God led them to work here anyway. In every teacher's story, they had to accept God into their hearts before they started their journey. I would like to thank the teachers who have taught me to realize God has a plan for everyone. During my time at Central, God has taught me to love his truth. He has used everything I do at school to connect back to his truth and remind me that his truth is all that matters. God's truth for me is everywhere and I can't separate it from the rest of the world. Even if I try, his fingerprints will appear everywhere across all of my subjects, including social studies, literacy, and science. God's truth is everlasting and his truth will always shine through even in the darkest of times. During my Bible classes throughout my years at Central, I have been blown away and awed by all the things that we were learning. I remember teaching my mom and dad about all of the different worldviews that we learn about in sixth grade and telling them about how different they are to our religion, Christianity. I have really loved thinking about God's truths and how they apply to my life. I will always carry the truths of God that I have learned here at Central everywhere I go. I am so thankful for how God has used Central to shape me into the person I am now. I thank my teachers, my classmates, and my parents for giving me the wonderful opportunity to grow and learn in my knowledge of God's truth here at Central. During sixth grade camp, there were many times when we had to think logically and work together as a team. One specific moment was when we were given three logs and we had to get to the other side of the course. At first, we all tried to give over by ourselves without making a plan. We failed. After this, we were reminded that we have to 
work as a team, then we can win the challenge and working together also can make us stronger. What I have realized during sixth grade is that every teacher has a passion for teaching us and a passion especially for God. I can assure you that they have done the best job at preparing us for a new chapter of my life. Going into a new grade and new school, I know that I can always come back to the pillar of that God is, that we have, sorry, that we should have a love of truth. Love of truth means that we can be able to tell why God is almighty and true. Through my years at CCS, I can remember to never steer away from the truth when going to new school. The pillar that speaks to me the most is love of truth. It speaks to my heart in the deepest ways, and it is the most obvious strength I've gained at CCS. I desire to be a lifelong learner with the help of the Holy Spirit. I adore the truth, and I come from a family who loves the truth. We often debate topics and analyze movies and books. Personally, I am always seeking the truth, and the one thing that I can put my full faith in is that is in, is in that the truth is in God and in his word. During my time at CCS, I've become exceedingly equipped to discern truth from error because of what I've been taught by my wonderful teachers, much of it in our worldview class with Mr. Hall. In that class, we are able to delve into many different religions and understand how they differ from Christianity so that I can better pray for and engage with people I encounter that do not know Jesus Christ. Through my years at Central, my communication skills have grown and refined due to the careful attention of my literacy teacher, Miss Harper. The Lord has truly taught me one truth I should devote my life to, and it is Him. In the world setting, I am very eager to be able to use these skills to further my education. I desire to engage with my subjects in a critical manner so that I have a greater understanding of each topic. As I encounter people, I look forward to learning more about their worldviews and finding ways to effectively communicate Christ to them. CCS has taught me that my plans may be my own, but it is the Lord God who establishes my way. He has a plan for me. I would like to say one last thing to my whole central community. Thank you so much for the love and time you've put into educating me in the way of the Lord. And as we leave this place, please never forget to shine your light for Christ. I will miss all of you very much. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gabriel Lee. As a Christian, I understand God's word and I have grown to rely on his word to help me discern between what is right and wrong. The pillar from CCS's mission that has impacted my life the most is love of truth. In our secular society, if there are situations where I am called upon to stand up for what is right and wrong, I know that God will provide me the knowledge, understanding, and words to speak the truth. One scripture that comes to mind is, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. John 8, 32. I feel comfortable spreading the word of God to anyone in any situation. I believe that the Holy Spirit will continue to watch over me and guide me to be successful. In kindergarten, Miss Patton taught me that he is a omnipotent God, meaning all powerful. As long as you repent of your sins, he will forgive you. The Lord helped me grow in this area at CCS by allowing me to study various scriptures at a deeper level. I have grown to understand that if you believe in the Lord with your entire heart and follow his word, he will cover you and keep you safe and provide you with many blessings. I've also learned that even if you fall short of his word, he is a forgiving God and he will grant you grace. I will continue to be an ambassador to uphold the pillar love of truth through continuing to believe and trust in his word. I look forward to my next school journey. I know that God will equip me with the courage, guidance, and protection to be successful. In love, I will continue to speak the truth. My message to others is with his love and obedience, he will give you the confidence to always speak the truth. 
I chose this pillar about truth and love because Central has helped me realize that God has chosen my path and that he put me on this earth so that I could spread his word to others and help them understand that God is in control of them. And even though we have hard times right now, you can always trust that God is there every step of the way. He gave me a safe environment where teachers and students are nice and they let you speak freely about anything. I have learned about his miracles and just how great he is through Bible lessons and chapels. They taught me that he will be with me every step of the way. Central has helped me to believe more in God's word. Mr. Hall and my other Bible teachers read from the Bible. They help me realize that God's word is true and that I should believe in it. I can always trust that the Lord is there every step of the way. When I feel like God's not there, I can look to the Bible for answers. I can even write a memory verse and carry it with me to remind me that God is there every step of the way. Hi, I am Elijah Davenport. And during my time at Central, I learned that the love of truth means I have a long journey in life and I have the Holy Spirit to guide me. Also, it means God's word is truth. In my life, this looks like God teaching me how to love him and his word of truth. God has used CCS to help me have faith in him for the things that I struggle with. When, when I pray to God about my struggles, he helps me with them. One example is that God put Mrs. Bingley in my life to help me with my struggles, like when she helps me with ERBs and spelling tests. Other teachers have helped me learn through the years too. God has also grown my passion for him because he loves me and I love him because he helps me with whatever I need. I, I will live differently because I know God is always watching me so I need to do the right things. I need to trust God in everything I do because his word is truth. He will never deceive me or mislead me. I enjoy being at Central. Thank you to all of my teachers. For me, the pillar that stands out and applies to my life the most is love of truth. Although I have only been here a year, CCS has helped me grow in this area in various ways. One way that God has used CCS to help me grow in this area is when Mr. Hall always did SOEP devotionals in the mornings. He encouraged us to read scripture and apply it to our lives. I developed a love for applying scripture to my life through that one little exercise. Another experience was in worldview when we learned about different beliefs and religions. I learned that it's okay to talk to and be friends with people that have different beliefs than I do. I now know that God wants me to reach out to people and not have biases against them. I hope that I will be able to carry these lessons with me as I move on in life. I have learned so much in only one year at Central. I thank God for the opportunity I had to come and be a part of, of CCS and it will forever be a part of my life. One final thing I would like to say to the CCS community is thank you so much for welcoming me here and educating me in such a wonderful way. I will miss you all and will always remember the wonderful year I had here at Central Christian School. In my seven years, I've been at Central Christian School. God has used every lesson and every person to nurture the love of truth in me. The love of truth means that I am finite and God is true, infinite, and all loving. I'm not afraid of secular society so I can share with people about the glory of God. Ever since first grade, we learned about God's word. We learned a lot of Bible stories and memorize scripture. Basically, Central has taught me what good and bad looks like in the world. For example, in fifth grade, on 9-11, Mr. Bolton talked to a class about what about that day in history. He explained that lots of people died that day and that the entire world was in fear. He also shared that even though how much bad things were going on, there were people who didn't stay back and helped people escape the burning buildings. Also, what I learned in Central at Central is what is that we shouldn't make fun of people just because they look different or they do different stuff than us. In my new school, I should show in my new school I will show the love of Christ and tell others about him. Teachers, thank you for teaching me the importance of love and truth. I'm so thankful for all my teachers, all my friends, and all my classes that I've made that I've that has made me who I am today with God's help.
The pillar that I am focusing on is love of truth. My time at CCS has taught me a lot of things. One of the many things CCS has taught me is to be kind to everyone no matter where they come from. I like this teaching because I think that everyone should have a friend. Also, it doesn't matter if your friend is a Christian or non-Christian, they can still be your friend. When I was a little kid, I had friends who were non-Christian, but that didn't stop me from playing with them. As a kid, I realized it is okay to have friends from different backgrounds and different religions. My time here at CCS has been a fun adventure that I will never forget. Childhood at Central, I have noticed that everyone around me and the people that were teaching me all had a zeal to serve. One of the pillars of Central's mission is, as I said, zeal to serve. We were all supposed to choose one pillar that fit us and that we could write about. I personally chose the third pillar. Reaching this pillar means that I understand my place in society as a beloved child of the one and only God. Also, I have an other-centered orientation as I make my day-to-day -day decisions. Lastly, I have a genuine concern for the poor and disfranchised in my community and or the world at large. I chose this pillar because it means something very important to me. It helps me to serve the Lord, but not just to do it, but to love doing it and willingly doing it. During my last year here, the summit did lots of service projects. One of my favorites is when we decorated some big boxes as Santas. After they were all done, we set them out around the school and had people donate books for the school, and who unfortunately didn't have many books. I wanted to thank all the friends, teachers, and parents for being so understanding. Also, I would like to thank the one and only God, who is the creator and shaper of all living things, which includes me. Something CCS has shown me throughout my years here is the zeal to serve. I chose this as my pillar because it is something that CCS has truly taught me. I remember when I first got here, our main motto was to love God and love others. And that was something that really influenced me as a person. A time when God taught me this was when I was in second grade and we went to the veterans home in our community. While we were there, we sang songs and passed out cards to the veterans. There, God taught me the zeal to serve others and put them before myself. At my new school, I will continue to put others before myself and think about what they might need before I think about what I might need. As I move on to the next chapter of my life, I would like to thank all my classmates, teachers, and the CCS community for giving me the opportunity to go to this school, and I will always remember the great times I had here. Throughout my years at CCS, God has given me a zeal to serve. As an image bearer, I enjoy serving others in my community and the world. Service starts at home. I enjoy helping my parents in yard work and other chores. Beyond helping my family, I have served as a library assistant and member of the Central Drama Team. In my church, I have served on the mission team overseas. The summit service projects have made a big impression on me. When we sang Christmas carols for the veterans, I could see what, that we were bringing joy and happiness to them. On a visit to Promise Christian Academy, we got to read books to the kids and play with them. I will never forget the smiles on their faces when we walked into the room. As I will attend Westminster Christian Academy next fall. I look forward to serving the community there through drama and athletics. Most of all, I hope to serve others who need help by being a good friend. Finally, I would like to thank my teachers and classmates for laughing with me and pushing me to be better. Central Christian School has been a wonderful gift. I am so thankful that I have been blessed with the opportunity to go to school here. I have been going here for as long as I can remember, and this amazing school has shaped my life and my character in countless ways. One of the areas I have grown in most during my time at CCS is a zeal to serve. Why are we called to serve others? That is a question that I have wrestled with, and I still do all the time. First, what is a zeal? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines zeal as an eagerness and a passion. God wants us to feel eager to serve others. I remember a moment a few years ago when we were playing a game at recess. My friend and I both wanted to go first in the game. I thought of everything I had learned about sacrificing God's commands, but I was torn between my desire to go first and my conscience telling me to let the other person have it. Still, I knew what to do. Now I am able to go forward to this new chapter of life in middle school knowing how to be selfless. 
I have been taught by amazing teachers and caring friends who want me to have that passion, that zeal, to serve others and to put myself last. I would like to thank those people, my teachers, my friends, and everyone in the Central community for guiding me during my journey here. Thank you. The pillar I chose is to zero serve, which means that I think about others before I do my everyday activities and would like to make the world a better place. When I first came to CCS, I was very shy and struggled to make friends. This made me want to switch schools, but God said I should stay here. Staying at this school made my relationship with God stronger. I would like to thank all of my teachers for making a friendship with me and making sure that I was okay and got the lesson. I have never seen a school like CCS that empowers their students to be leaders and to help the world. I would also like to thank my mom and dad for letting me go to this school. Being at CCS has been such a joy making friends with the little kids and all my classmates. And lastly, I would like to thank my friends for helping me and encouraging me to do my best and to always encourage others and to make every situation fair. I will miss CCS. The people in the school have a special place in my heart forever. Thank you again for coming to our graduation. I think that this year, more than others, we have realized how much some people really care for us and just how much the Central Community provides for us. We all sent and received so many emails over quarantine with the topic of missing others and realizing how much we love school came up. I didn't expect to be in quarantine, longing for school and my teachers this year, but I guess things aren't always expected. With that being said, it has been brought to our attention that a lot of people deserve to be thanked. Our parents honestly deserve a million thank yous, but somehow one pleases you enough. Why? Because you care and love us. And to you, a simple thank you lets you know you're doing a good job. I hope when you are looking up here right now that you know you've done a good job. Second, teachers and staff at Central who have fought through our continuous late night emails asking for extra time, our constant change of mind, and much, much more deserve a big thank you. Graduation to some may sound like going away. But really, we we'll always have a piece of our teachers and staff here in our hearts because they shaped our love for God. They helped light the fire that helps us keep going. They helped us discover that we can trust in God. So thank you to every single person here for believing in us. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for all of these people here today and the fact that we can be here. I pray as we move on, we will never forget where we started to blossom as Christians. Central Christian School has been such a blessing to be at, and I pray that we remember we can come here to be surrounded by this community even after we have graduated. Moving forward, help us recall where our passion for God came up from, why we now have the zeal to serve, and last but not least, the place we gained a love of truth. Thank you, Lord for bringing us to Central to learn these things, even through the unexpected. Amen.